Night one of the NFL draft in the books with two more rounds ahead tonight. News Channel 5 Steve Lehman takes a look at what's making this draft unlike any we've seen before. Like many of you, I watched the opening round of the NFL draft on Thursday night right here from the couch. COVID-19 means even Titans general manager John Robinson and head coach Mike Vrabel are working from home as the NFL draft's done virtually for the first time ever. But through one night, it appears to have gone off without a hitch. I thought the communication was, was, was excellent uh, from the league. Uh, we were able to hear the picks uh, by, a, by a speakerphone. The website worked um, out well. Um, as, from, as far as for a communication piece, the, the connections with the scouts and, and, and Coach Vrabel uh, was, was really good and Amy. Robinson says there were the same discussions on picks or trades as any other year. But there was one big difference about working from home. My girls got to pop in at the draft room and they raved about how cool it was to, to see the experience and to see how um, dad kind of does um, his thing on, on draft night. But it was Vrabel's house that made the most of the Titans' 10 minutes on the clock. I mean, it's been a long quarantine over here, man. We got a bunch <laughs> of 19 and 18 year old kids and, uh, you know, they, they, they're stir crazy. His son Carter donned one of dad's old Pro Bowl jerseys, while his friend Jackson dressed as Frozone from The Incredibles. They saw all the, uh, the other kids as the draft wore on and they said, well, well, we'll give our own little spin to it. Even Vrabel's oldest son Tyler couldn't escape getting caught up in the scene. You know, I know that there's some pictures going around. Tyler was not using the restroom. Tyler was sitting on a bar stool next to his mom. And uh, as fate would have it, um, it came across as probably something other than that. Despite the commotion, the Titans feel good about their pick of Georgia offensive tackle Isaiah Wilson and how night one turned out. I think it was, and I, it was, it was a different way of doing it. But I think at the end of the day, uh, the process worked well. Working from home, Steve Layman, News Channel Five.